What's going on guys? It's uh, a new week. I've got some new equipment and I have a new pickup video for you. So uh, this week was was fairly short in terms of hunting but I did happen to find a lot of great stuff with the help of my fiance. Um, I don't know if you saw my post on Instagram or Facebook but last Sunday uh, we went out hunting. We hit up six uh, stores or six thrift stores, uh, three Goodwills and three Valley Villages and we were able to find uh, something at every single one of them so that's a little unheard of for us. So the first one uh, we went to Goodwill or a Goodwill and we didn't find anything game related but we got about a, f a good stack of comics so we got about 22 issues. Uh, we got the first 20 issues of the 2003 Jeff Johns run of Teen Titans, which is a personal favorite of mine. I've got the Omnibus, but it's very nice to have the single issues. So that was the first uh, Goodwill there. I don't have them on hand at the moment. I have them boxed up, um, but that was Goodwill number one. Next, we stopped at a Valley Village that was about you know, five to ten minutes down the road. We were able to find this uh, Nintendo 64 here. It was priced at $20.00 had the power cord it's not a bad price especially considering it has the expansion pack so the expansion pack allows you to play games like uh, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask or uh, Donkey Kong 64 um, and so on and so forth perfect dart um, I think this little pack goes for 15 to 20 dollars by itself so uh, I figured this was a decent buy it turns on it works and everything uh, another thing that we picked up at the thrift store, uh, especially considering we found this. Uh, I always like to look a little, uh, a little bit more carefully uh, if I do find something gaming, gaming related, because you might find other things. So if I found the system, I might find the controllers or other games or other cords, anything basically. And so we made our way around the store, and we ended up finding a couple games in the toy section so these are priced at five dollars it was in a, a baggie in the toy section it has wave race 64 and a nascar 2000 so five dollars about 250 a piece uh that's not too bad so this was value village number one so after that we made it to another value village uh and this was actually our biggest score of the day i happened to find uh this game it's called black for PS2. One of my collecting buddies was looking for this game so I picked it up but as we're making our way to the miscellaneous electronics section my fiance says or uh, exclaims like oh my gosh or oh uh, that caught my attention so I hurried on over to her and she picks up this guy. So it is a complete in box Super Nintendo control set. Uh, inside it it's got the styrofoam it's got the controllers all in excellent condition. Uh, I'll pull it out real quickly. These are all the receipts for it uh, from that day. As you can tell, it's not discolored at all. And uh, I actually opened this up to clean it a bit uh, before the video, and it turns out to be a one chip edition. Uh, the chipset makes it higher quality in audio and uh, video, so it looks nicer on your CRTs. So that's nice. I might go over the differences in a different video, but that was cool find. Uh, they had it priced at at seventy dollars. Uh, so that's not too bad. I know a lot of game stores are pricing their Super Nintendo's loose uh, between fifty and seventy. So that was a nice find. Uh, like I mentioned before. Uh, once I do find something like this, or my fiance finds something like this, I'm determined to find other things related to it. And uh, lo and behold, the showcase had a number of great games uh, for reasonable price uh, in there. So the first game was uh, The Flintstones. It's the movie game. And uh, this one runs for about... Let's see, I'll hold it up to the camera here. Uh, it is a rental game, so it got covered in, in blockbuster gunk. But it was five dollars, which is not bad. Then we have uh, the mask, also a blockbuster game, with that rental sticker. But they wanted fifteen dollars for it, and uh, I believe this one goes for twenty-five to thirty. Next game uh, was a little bit more surprising. It's a little bit more of a better deal. It's the Ren and Snippy show, 
Fire Dogs. So this one's about a $25, $30 game. And they wanted $4.99. And as you can see, uh, there's a little bit of a, a pattern here. They're all covered in Blockbuster stickers. So those back labels are, are pretty much unsalvageable. Uh, I kind of like Blockbuster stickers, but given the current state, I might just clean them off. An N64 game that caught my eye, and it was Magical uh, Tetris Challenge for Nintendo 64. Um, it's $4.99. Last game that I picked up from that value village was Metroid Fusion. But if you, you've seen my other photos or my last video about cartridge cleaning using Axe Body Spray, it was actually a not for resale copy. So there uh, you can see the not for resale. And uh, before it had a permanent marker marked across not for resale. But using Axe Body, Body Spray, I was able to get the majority of it off. And they wanted $14.99 for this guy. I was, uh, after I found all these games, my fiance came up, found a good old bag of pogs. We like to collect those as well. $2.99. Uh, these are pretty cool. But uh, all of those items all together, uh, we actually ended up getting for about $94 because I had a 30% off donators coupon. And uh, I decided to use that on this purchase. And for $94, it's not a bad deal for a complete in box Super Nintendo. Three solid games uh, in terms of value on Super Nintendo and not for resale Metroid Fusion, uh, Tetris Challenge, and some Pogs. So, not too bad. Next stop after that was another Goodwill. And there we, uh, we kind of made out not too bad. Uh, in terms of games, uh, we were able to pick up Destruction Derby 2. On PlayStation we have Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker for PSP this one's sealed uh, this one's five dollars it's worth about ten dollars sealed we, we were able to find a guide that we didn't have for our collection at Goodwill and this one was $1.99 but it is Star Fox Adventures uh, we actually ended up finding some toys too some some nice ones uh, I don't know if you have any Jurassic Park fans out there or if I have any Jurassic Park fans out there, but uh, we found some old Kenner toys from the Lost World. So Jurassic Park Lost World, and this is uh, the Net Trap off-road vehicle, Net Trapper. So uh, the figures are sold separately. You can get that that Raptor there, uh, a couple Jurassic Park guys, and uh, you can trap yourself a Raptor essentially. Uh, it comes with the box, it comes with all the components in it, the instructions are in it as well. And uh, what's cool is, actually let me open this up here. What's cool is, got the instructions, got some of the original plastic bagging in here with the, the toy parts. It's got the original stickers that haven't been applied yet, which is cool. So there's that. I think uh, this figure itself, or this this toy set, goes for about thirty to forty dollars loose, and um, possibly complete or missing parts uh, with the box is probably worth a little bit more. Uh, we picked this up for seven ninety nine. Another one uh, from the Lost World, Jurassic Park, and Kenner. It is glider pack with Ian Malcolm. Uh, or better known as uh, Jeff Goldblum. So if you look closely, it resembles Jeff Goldblum a lot. You can see that. And you can also see the price. We got this one for uh, $6.99. I believe this one goes for just about uh, the same amount of price, or the same price. Um, you know, $30 to $40, possibly loose, maybe a little bit more for a complete in box. This one is essentially brand new with it's been open but it's never been removed and last value village for that day i was really struggling uh we're we're joking around we're saying hey we want to get that perfect score uh and we're trying to desperately find something to pick up and after you know a good amount of time wandering the store uh we wandered down a random aisle and we happened to stumble upon uh a little oddity from nickelodeon 
if uh, you're a 90s kid you might recognize this it is a photo blaster so uh, I'm sure some of you have seen like the alarm clocks the slime alarm clocks they also have a phone but this one is a camera it takes the old film you can slide it open take the, um, take a picture you know turn it and click so this one I was 299 and I believe this one goes for about uh, 25 to 30 dollars still got the film in there I wonder if I can still get that developed but yeah that was uh, our day of hunting I actually met up with a good friend of mine who I've been trading with and he happened to find a silver Mario at GameStop for me uh, from the world of Nintendo line so see if I can't get a closer look or get you guys a closer look it's basically just uh, a cast of Mario uh, painted silver as a collectible figurine they also have like a gold Goomba like a, a Samus um, let me pull it off the shelf here actually this one was one of the Walmart exclusives uh, star power you can see it's basically the same exact mold this one I got in a trade uh, he actually basically gave it to me uh, as a freebie which is cool I went to another Goodwill uh, just the other day and uh, happened to stumble upon a bin where they were just putting out some stuff AV cords for a Super Nintendo Nintendo 64 or GameCube GameCube controller the purple one with the clear back I believe you could only buy this one uh, in a blister pack individually which is nice and it's in good shape it's just dirty uh, Nintendo 64 power cord also in very good shape and a CG pad SG6 for the Genesis uh, it was 399 three Nintendo 64 controllers and one of them has the memory pack in it and what's great about these are they're all in excellent shape all sticks are very tight except for this uh, this atomic purple one it's not as great but still very good shape uh, it's black one nearly brand new it's crazy uh, so I found all those controllers and uh, some cords and what's great is they can go with that loose Nintendo 64 console that I showed you guys earlier. Alright, last pickups, thanks for sticking with me uh, for this week is a physical copy of R River City Tokyo Rumble and it was just, it's just basically another installment of the River City Ransom franchise. Uh, this physical copy comes with a keychain, which is very cool. I've yet to play it. Uh, it takes on the traditional retro style gameplay. But I'm excited to pop this into the 3DS and try it out. Great week of collecting. Uh, lots of lots of stuff. Um, not a lot of days hunting, but lots of stuff. Uh, Gray says, oh, wait, I got one more thing. And the last... Uh, piece that I have for you. Um, I, I was actually kidding about the last one. I completely forgot about this. Uh, it was a package that I got from Instagram. Um, an account on there, Vandals Gaming, um, Vandals Games. They posted up a picture of something very cool that I had to have for my collection. I messaged them about it and uh, we were able to come to terms on a price. The Nintendo Power Fest 94 hat. So this was part of the, the competition back in 1994 for the Super Nintendo or uh, similar to like Nintendo World Championships or uh, Campus Challenge but they made a hat for this. I don't know if it was for staff or for players but uh, you know it's very cool to have. It's a little piece of gaming history and happy I'm happy to have it in my collection. So thank you Vandals Games, Vandals Gaming. Uh, you should check them out on Instagram. I'll leave a link in the description below. Okay, just kidding again. Uh, one more pickup. Forgot to show this. This is something I can't wait. So uh, if you're a fan of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or, or the original run by Eastman and Laird, uh, this is the second print of issue number four. I'm going to hold it up here. And this was a cover. Uh, I don't know who the artist is, uh, to be honest. But it is the cover art that was used for... Uh, the NES game. So uh, as you can see they are, are identical and when I first saw this and the fact that this was uh, or when I first saw that this was a cover for uh, the second pr print of issue 4 uh, I just had to have it so I picked it up off eBay so um, this will go 
uh, these are two pieces that are very cool that go well together, and I'm glad to have it in my collection. Anyway, those are my pickups for this week. Uh, again, lots of great stuff. Uh, if you did like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I'm going to have more videos coming. Uh, hopefully, all the quality is better, lighting, camera, uh, audio, all that good stuff. Um, I'm working hard to produce good, solid content for you guys, and, and hopefully you're enjoying it. So, we'll see you on the next one.